What's up guys, Matt Manduke here. I feel that it's needed because there's not enough information on it. As about a month and a half ago at the Philadelphia Auto Show, I couldn't find decent answers as to what MPGE is. So this is the definition that I am able to find over the internet based on what the government standard is and why it even exists. MPGE is the equivalence of what miles per gallon would be if gasoline was converted into electricity. In other words, the electric car market required something in order for shoppers to be able to compare other electric cars and to be able to compare electric hybrids and regular gas vehicles so that you can know what kind of value you're getting. Now, just because a car has a high MPGE doesn't mean that they can actually get that many miles on a full charge. In other words, much like a motorcycle might only have a half a gallon tank but get 50 miles to the gallon, you're not going to get 50 miles from that tank because it doesn't hold it, but it still gets 50 miles to the gallon because we measure things in gallons. So, in the case of MPGE, which is miles per gallon electric, they consider electric power to be 33.7 kilowatt hours in the battery, which doesn't actually matter what voltage it's running at, which I, I think is, is kind of wrong, but, but they all run on different voltages, so that's entirely understandable to some degree. They have to have something to measure it upon. By 2018, almost every auto manufacturer will have at least one plug-in hybrid. Many of them will also have an all-electric version of a car. Some of them will have more than one. And then, of course, there's companies like Tesla that don't even deal with gasoline, but can't produce enough vehicles. So they might not exist by 2020. That aside, the rating is so that you can compare them and figure out what you're getting based on how much you have. So we'll use the instance of the uh, Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid that says it gets an 84 MPGE. The vehicle only has 22 kilowatt hours, so it can never get that 84 miles to the gallon because it doesn't have the equivalence of a gallon of electricity to give. However, it gives less. Much like the motorcycle I just referenced, if it doesn't have a full kilowatt, or if it doesn't have a full 33.7 kilowatt hours to give, they still have to be able to measure it based on what it would do if it had 33.7 kilowatt hours. Vehicles with longer range than their MPGE have more than 33.7 kilowatt hours. So if they have a 40 or a 60 kilowatt hour battery, they can get further than just what their MPGE is. However, the plug-in hybrids aren't going to get further than their MPGE without turning their gas motor on. When their gas motor gets turned on, then the gas motor acts as a generator in order to run the electric motor. Generally, they don't charge the electric battery, though I'm sure that is coming. It's just, you know, we get things in small pieces. We were going to get it all at once. We'd already be all electric. And we wouldn't be burning fossil fuels. We'd have fusion reactors, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go there. We're never going to get there unless we take steps because we have to take steps, and we have to support these cars that they are building so that they will build better and better ones. You pick the ones that do better, and the all electric ones with better price tags. Because realistically, there's no reason why an electric car should cost more because most of them are using 18650s for their power cells, and 18650s are cheap as hell. Your laptop probably runs on them. My e cig runs on them. If you like this and found it informative, go ahead and share it with your friends. If you're interested in how you can get better gas mileage in your current gas vehicle you can check out this playlist here or if you're interested in what other things i have going on in my channel you can check out that playlist there as always i want you to like the video subscribe and if you're really feeling happy you can pick yourself up a mushy manduke t-shirt thanks for watching i'll see all my friends later